Right, so it was the mixed relay this morning, and there was a big crash with Annie Van Vluten. We'll just watch it first in real time, and then we'll go through the little things and see what's happened. So anyway, this is her just starting out. The Dutch men's team had just gone. She's just going up to speed here, and then boom, whack straight into the barrier. Massive crash, and that's basically the end of their medal trip. Now... Annemiek Van Vluten said on Twitter, on my way to hospital for x-rays on my right side, all bruised and especially worried about my right elbow arm, my front tire exploded and I crashed. Okay, so now, first of all, I believe slash no, she's on tubeless. So what does that actually mean? Like, how does your tire explode? Because in reality on tubeless, let's say it's a hooked rim, which, sorry, it's a hookless rim, which I'm pretty sure it will be because she'll be on a zip wheel. She'll be on GP5000 you can see here she's on, uh, yeah, she's on a zip, right? This is a definitely a zip wheel, just a sponsor. So she'll be on hookless rims. So the chance of the the tire exploding uh, is higher on hookless rims, but that's more due to the rim exploding than the tire. Like, I don't think the rim exploded. So the tire exploding is very interesting because you can see here, like she's riding along, like there's no ceiling coming out. So like here it looks fine. And then it must just explode there and then bucks her from one side to the other. But when you actually look at it, you can't see, it, it's very hard to see at least, there's actually like a massive reduction in pressure. I think maybe now actually, if you look at the bottom, you can see here that her tire is flat um, and that all the air has come out. And then that's when she obviously goes to go out the saddle and then she has no grip and gets blown over because you can then see here, it's a pretty bad crash there, but we don't even want to watch the actual crash part. It's more just like, how did it happen? But the interesting thing is no ceiling came out. Now, this is, there's obviously two points. She didn't have ceiling. It's a time trial. She reckons it's quicker without ceiling, which it is slightly. But I still reckon that she would have put ceiling in just because if you got a flat, it's such a nightmare. So assuming she has tube, uh, ceiling in, then the next question is, how could she have this catastrophic failure of tubeless with her tire basically blowing off the rim, which, sorry, exploding, but no ceiling coming out? Now, this is the point that I'm quite confused about because you'd expect there to be sealant flying out and there isn't. So I think that probably means that the tyre just hadn't, like, maybe hadn't sealed properly on the rim because obviously if it was an explode, if it was like a hole, then the sealant would fly out. But if it was more like it just wasn't seated properly on the rim at all and then it just suddenly had a massive loss of pressure. Um, but obviously the sealant stays inside because it's just coming out the valve let's say i mean maybe it's trying to seal that would make more sense again i think that's probably the explanation but it could literally be that she had no sealant and it exploded but with tubeless it's just really hard to tell um these issues but anyway not a good crash for van bluten very sorry to see to be honest um and yeah i don't really think it says too much about tubeless i think it's just like if you don't set up if you set up fine it's good i think it's just like one of those incidents that Pros seem to have, but I don't think amateurs have as much. But anyway, those are my ideas for what went wrong. Let me know what you think went wrong um, in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Just a quick add and end um, or postscript. This is actually Anime Van Vluten's tyre, so you can see here quite clearly. That has flown off um, the rim. Obviously, somehow the tubeless didn't fly everywhere or wasn't shown on camera. But yeah, it looks like the tubeless... Obviously, there's some issue with it seating on the rim. It is a Zip 404 hookless, I believe, on a GP5000, maybe TT tyre. Hard to see from this angle. But yeah, it really doesn't look good. Um, looks like it must have just, just had a failure with um, the, just this whole ceiling situation. Uh, not great for the tubeless tyres.